All right, here we go, everybody. Take a look at this. 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 This is a moment pure awesomeness. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. And then he shoots it. And that's how you begin a game. Hey, everyone. Axe Rondo here. Welcome back to another episode of this Let's Play that we haven't done. And on this channel, at least. This is Torok Dinosaur Hunter, a game that I actually have a lot of story with. Um, so... I dropped my controller. Sorry about that if you heard that. So, enough explaining. Let's just start this game. Real simple. Locate the hub ruins using the keys to open the level portals. That's it. That's all. That's all we gotta do. Now, to get here, we gotta start here. Yeah, welcome to Torok Dinosaur Hunter, everybody. This is a game that I played, at least a sequel, uh, in on the Nintendo 64. And this game I actually played, by the way, if you're wondering how to get there to get the gun, go down here, there's a little hole. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play this game again. So, to give a little backstory, a long time ago, I mentioned this when I played Pikmin, um, I had another channel, <clears throat> my the first channel I started with, that was simply known as... I was simply known as just the Sky Warrior. Uh, 3100, to be more precise. Now, I'm not there anymore, uh, so don't go try searching for it. I'm no longer the Sky Warrior. But, um, my first Let's Play for that channel was Torok, the Dinosaur Hunter. And it was when my computer, uh, at the time, I had a little laptop and I played the Living Daylights out of it. And I recorded it to the best that I could. And oh my gosh, did. That my computer struggled to run it and to record it, so it was it was a trip. Playing it now on my on my current computer and trying to record it is so much different. Oh gosh, but so much. Uh, it's a lot more fun. Ooh, got you, Mr. Raptor. So redoing this game again. I want to make sure I do it right this time and not have to do so many little things off. Whoa! I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, he smiled when I did that. He was having a good time. Oh. See ya. He's having a good time there. So, this game is pretty short, straight to the point. All we gotta do is collect the little triangles that you saw. They're keys, but I, they're... Something respawn. But they're little... They're, they're triangle shape, which is pretty funny, honestly. Uh, along the way, you can do different things. You can get more of these. We're pretty safe up here, so nothing can get us. But, uh, keep an eye out because there's always something trying to hurt you. Always. Like that guy. And then there's a- ah! That. You can't get me. You can't get me. <laughs> he got me. Uh, don't stay in one spot for too long. And if you see me move via Mach 15 is because Torok, well, Torok has to use a bathroom. And he's trying to find said bathroom. At the same time, he's also trying to search for keys. He loves his little triangles. He's obsessed with triangles. I kind of gave a hint of this game. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, Jesus, dinosaur. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, I don't think there's anything that we do need here. I'm not going to spend so much time in this spot. Sorry about that. I must get going. <laughs> Everybody stay out of my way. Tarak is angry. Tarak is really angry. I know there's a portal here that we could jump to. Oh, there it is. There it is. Secret magical portal. Ooh. I vowed to never do these again. I broke that promise today. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the original playthrough that I did for this game, it was so janky because everything was just messing up on me. The first episode alone I did was just so full of temp uh was so full of little technical issues that eventually i just said you know what let's uh i had to record it if i remember correctly three times before i was satisfied with how it looked and oh my goodness when i did finally get it and post it I, w I felt so accomplished and um the when i did the finale of this game uh, I was using a different editing software because uh, I didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> it was a free software. Uh, so when I used it, this was before I found what I'm currently using. 
using DaVinci. Really good editing software if you're trying to get into uh, softcore, or not soft, softcore, uh, soft editing. Or free editing, at least. Really good editing software. Love it. Been using it ever since. But I was using a different one. I forgot the name of it. It was a... It was a weird named one, if I remember correctly. But the whole point was... It had this issue... After I received... After I did, like, a certain amount of videos... Can I get that? I think I got it. No, I did. After I did a certain amount of videos... Um... It started cutting my video format into like 10 minutes and it was just so weird because I, I told myself like I, I was looking at it like what is different this time why am I why am I getting cut to like 10 minute videos and the finale for Torok when I when I did it the first time it was uh 30 minutes long so I cut it into three parts because it did not like that I was doing above 10 minutes and I guess it was just its way of trying for me to pay for it but I didn't want to because I don't want to waste money Come on. There we are. So that was my whole ordeal. Whole ordeal. <gasps> bad guys. Portal. More bad guys. Ow. Oh, Mortal Wound. Mortal Wound is an interesting... Two Mortal Wounds? Wow, back to back. Basically, when you uh, hunt something with a knife, chances are you'll get your HP filled up. So keep that in mind. As you can tell, this is a big platform. So if you like jumping, if you like moving around in Mach 15, you like killing dinosaurs, if you like hurting people... Play Torah. <laughs> Checkpoint. Now, when I played, like, uh, I, this game actually, I played the sequel when I was, uh, when I was a kid. Uh, Seeds of Evil. Maybe I'll play the sequel on the channel, I don't know. Um, but, uh, that game was so crazy. I need to save these arrows. There we go. Just wanted to use three. That game was so crazy because it, there was so many things going on in the background and I was just running around. I didn't know what I was doing. I was a kid. So what I thought was, oh, what I thought what I was doing right was just running around like an idiot. Turns out uh, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> but I, I learned my lesson this time and now I'm playing this game. Sorry, monkey. Oh, I'm, now I'm trying to play this game as best as I can. I did 100% it the first time I played it, so I do plan to do it again. Um, I wonder if my old saves are here. Oh yeah, look here, all my old saves. It's so funny. Last time I record, I played this game was when 2020. When did I do my first? I think it was this 2017. Yeah, I think it was that one. one of those. One of those. That was. Before I was Axon Ronder. But, um, it was a fun time to be. What was that? Okay. But this time I'm gonna just go through the game. Take it easy this time because I don't have to go crazy. So I'm really gonna enjoy it this time. So I had a lot of limitations when I was recording it the very first time. Now I can just sit back, enjoy the game, and watch you all, or watch you, you guys watch me play it. Because. Yeah. <laughs> so, the way this game goes is that we need to stop the E. It's a, it's a... Oh, gosh. I forgot how loud that was. Oof. We have to, to uh, stop the big bad guy of this game. I forgot his name. Taskmaster? No, it wasn't Taskmaster. It was something else. Uh, what was it called? It was something. Enforcer? I'll put the name up here, right here. Right here. Okay. Enough of that. And, uh, we have to stop him because he's trying to destroy the Lost Lands. This is the... This is a weird spot. This is where time kind of merges with each other. So, different time periods are combined into one specific spot. So, Torok must defend the Lost Lands. The Torok entirety is so interesting because there's so much lore behind Torok. I believe I believe his real name is Talset. This at least this iteration of Torok, because he has several different. Um, there's like different different incarnations of him because it's uh, always different. Like his uh, like grandson or like uh, son take over and stuff like that. So this is I believe I don't think the first Torok, but the most I think this is the first Torok. 
Well, he's the most famous Torok. But it's a, it's a really good game. If you want something quick and easy. And this was on the Nintendo 64. I actually have the copy here. Like, uh, it's on my desk right now, but I don't want to get it. Oh, hey, boy. I'm just trying to make sure there was nothing there. Nothing important. I don't know. I don't care. Oh, hopefully, I'm not missing anything. I don't know how many keys I need to get past this place. Get out my gun. There should be something here that will help me. Oh, yeah. Spirit. Yes, I am. That's yes, you are, Torok. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm invincible. I'm on fucking mushrooms, bitch. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I'm moving so fast. Not even the bad guys can see me. I'm invincible. Oh, shit. It ran off. Well, that was fun. Don't let it get to your head, Torok. Don't let it get to your head. Torok excited. Torok excited. We haven't seen each other in so long. Damn it, Torok. Oh, shit. Don't fall in there, Torok. Torok excited. We haven't seen each other in so long. Last time I saw him was... Well, we used all the time. Now we're reunited and it feels so good. Torok is going to show us things that are going to scare the living daylights out of each and every one of us. I'm already scared because this game was actually really hard when I played it the first time. Whoa! You know, I have grenades, but I have no idea what they are. Oh! Oh, I wanted to say this because every time I see this bug, I, I think of it. Do you guys, if anybody's seen the show or the movie, do you guys, have any of you seen The Emperor's New Groove? Or that scene where Pacha and, uh, and Cusco are eating that bug? I don't want to put the picture because I don't want Disney to get after me. But uh, there's a bug that looks exactly like this and they're eating the inside of it. It looks like a giant potato. I think it's a potato bug. I'm not too sure. But every time I see those, I'm reminded of that. So, makes me hungry. Leave me alone. Oh. What number is this? Level 3 key. Two more keys left to find. There should be water here. And inside this water, there's a crap ton of enemies. Jesus. And there should be an assault rifle somewhere down here. Some air Torok. Get away from me. Now you're in trouble. When Torok reaches the land, you're all in trouble. If I can get to the land as fast as I can. Go, Torok, go! Got these little monsters. These little demons. The water is stained with blood. I think that's all of them, right? I don't want them. Oh, gosh. I did not miss these noises, I could tell you that. What's over here? Oh, this is actually interesting. Um, So, here's the thing about this game. So, we are going to do this game 100%. Um, and what is 100% exactly? 100% is collecting the seven pieces of uh, the main weapon. Biopractor? Chiropractor? Johnsonator? I, I don't know. It, it's it's a unique weapon um, that we're supposed to collect seven pieces of because they're each one, each piece is hidden inside a world, and we're supposed to locate all of those. So, potato beetle, potato beetle, potato beetle. It should be here somewhere. It's in this big old maze. At the same time, I'm trying to get more HP. Torkins have up to two hundred HP. Oh, and I gotta I should get on my gun because I remember correctly. There was one enemy that just was not having it the last oh look there's there's a secret area i've discovered all secret areas what oh no this one of these this is the first piece of the chrono scepter that's what it's called chrono scepter there's one piece in each level so keep that in mind if you're playing along there's a piece there he's one with the earth now he is now planet earth okay Never mind, he's back. He's back. He gave him a second chance. He won the gulag. Ow. <laughs> Shoot, I should have not used that one. It's <laughs> my explosive rounds. Uh, in the beginning of the game, it's easy just to be messing around. But keep in mind, uh, the game it will get progressively harder. And the enemies will just turn more violent as <laughs> you progress. Ooh, Torak is so happy. One more key to find. Oh, explosive rounds. I want those. I think I could enter there here somewhere. 
Aha! So long, chump. Catch you later, alligator. Ow! Did I enter the right spot? I'm sorry. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Get away from me. Okay, time for me to use a gun. Torok is gonna go... Fool. Oh, I got an assault rifle now, right? Ha ha ha. This is Torok's greatest weapon. Ooh. Oh, and like every time you collect more... Um, what are they called? Uh, I'm not... I think they're called tokens. I think they're called... What is this? Oh, I remember this one. This one gave me hell when the last time I played it. Oh! Ah, keep, keep going, Torak. Keep, keep going, Torak. That fucking one hit me in the face. Ah, I'm bleeding. My perfect face. I have no idea what the hell this place is. Um, I just call it Torok's Dreamland. This is what Torok dreams about. I feel so sorry for him. But uh, yeah, not, uh, not the most friendly. You, you can touch the ceiling, and <laughs> it won't send you back. You touch the blue stuff, it will send you back. So. And it will hurt you a little bit, I get, uh, if I remember correctly. So, try not to do that. There we go. I like to collect all the triangles because I just love me Doritos! Aha! You came back just to get smited by me. I'm so sorry. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Aha! Still got the aim. Torak knows how to play this game. It's not, and what's interesting is I don't have to focus too much on re reloading and stuff like that. Like, as long as I just shoot, uh, point and shoot, that's the the game handles the rest for me. Uh, that I don't need to go there. I do need to go here. If I remember correctly, there's just nothing but beetles here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Going the right way. Now. Try to look around as much as I can because HP is so valuable in this game. You're gonna need every amount possible because everything is trying to hurt Tarok. I think there's also armor in this game. I don't. I I think so. It's been a while since I played this game, so don't quote me on that one. But it should be here somewhere. Uh oh, there's Lasky. Oh yes, raise it high, Tarok. The last key is mine. All keys found slow. Perfect. Thank you. And to one portal into another. Uh oh. Whoa! Be gone! Be gone! Oh yeah, don't let them hit you while you're, you know, while they're moving because they will do some damage to you, which is stupid. Oh, I didn't know these were here. Oh, good to know. Hmm. Alright, so this is the hub world. This is where actually everything that we need to do happens. So you can see that there's different levels. There we go. We have access to level 3. Uh, level 2 should be here somewhere. There it is, level 2, the jungle. That's exactly where we're going to go next. And the save spot should be here. I like to try to go in chronological order, so uh, 2023, we'll write this one, perfect. So in the next episode, we're going to call it here because like I said before, um, now that I'm here, let me explain something. This Let's Play is going to go by so fast, really fast. We just defeated level 1 and we're on our way to level uh, 2, which is the jungle. And then we're going to move on to 3, 4, 5, uh, there's several levels and then we're trying to get the key here. So that's the plan. We're just going to focus on these levels and then probably a level an episode. That's that's what I'm thinking. And then we'll be we should be able to beat it. But this let's play should go by really fast. It's a perfect little something to keep me on my toes while I play fantasy life, you know. Just uh there's some action here and then there's uh, a little bit of relax relaxation there. So keep that in mind. With that being said, I think we're going to call it for here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time exploring the world of Torok the Dinosaur Hunter with me. I know we were going at Mach 15. I'm still moving at Mach 15. 
but that's the way this game is. It's going to be fast paced, it's going to be fun, it's going to be thrilling, and it's going to be full of shotgun shells. I can tell you that for sure. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's bound to be some other things that may pique your interest here, like more Torok the Dinosaur Hunter. I really hope you guys enjoy this game because it's a game that really, really means a lot to me. It was my first Let's Play on my, first, on my original channel, and it's number, I think, 10. I think it's number 10 on this channel. So, came comes a long way, and I'm glad to have it on my roster. So, I'll catch you all later. Have a great one, and bye-bye.